Should I be spending £50,000 on EV converting a TVR? Well, probably not, but I'm going to anyway. been on a bit of a journey um, which started uh, Christmas time I was on furlough got into EV conversions seeing amazing builds from EV Western America to electric classic cars uh, in Wales in the uh, UK and saw all these amazing things you can do with electric motors now whether it's 500 brake beetles and exciting drift cars and then there's zero EV with their Skyline drift car there's some fantastic things going on and I see myself as being quite environmentally uh, aware, conscious, and uh, I've got a TDR 5 litre V8, which doesn't kind of go with that. So I thought, you know what, I need to try and build a comparable electric EV conversion to the TDR Griffin. So I had my work cut out, as I'm sure you know. So I did think about EV converting my TVR, but I've had it six years, nearly seven, and I absolutely love it, like the noise it makes. I wouldn't change it, I want to keep it for now. Um, you never know what happens later. Um, so my, my conversion had to be comparable to the TVR. It had to be the same or similar power, um, had to be rear wheel drive, um, had to have that fun and fear factor, um, and it had to be under 5,000 pounds to buy. Uh, and I'll talk about the costs in a little while. Um, so I narrowed down uh, all the cars and you know, I was thinking, oh, Porsche 944 or MR2, any of the marks, uh, MX-5, and I narrowed it down to a TVR wedge. Now, I really love the ethos of TVR, you know, exciting cars. It's like the, the David and Goliath uh, of the motoring sports car world, you know, uh, big power, exciting cars for a fraction of the cost of something like a Porsche. Yes, the build quality is not quite there, but you could say it echoes a bit of uh, Tesla in that way. There's no traction control, and there are no anti-lock brakes. There's no airbag either. TVR's argument has always been, well, don't crash then. So I found a car, um, I went to go and see it, and there's a video all about it. So if you look at my previous videos, because uh, this is essentially a summary of where I'm at at the moment, so check that out. So in terms of the cost of an EV conversion, now, if you're a very clever guy, electrical engineer, know your stuff, got all the tools, now you can get a donor, like a Nissan Leaf, and you can build a car. You know, I've heard of people building cars for as little as 5,000 pounds, but that's certainly not me, but I mean, when I looked at the parts just to do it, and we're not talking just new parts here, we're talking about £16,000 just in parts alone. I'm sitting down, you need to sit down now, because it's only going to get more expensive. So I haven't got the skills, I haven't got the uh, space to do an EV conversion. So I went to see a company or various companies and contacted various companies. Uh, the cheapest conversion you can get is £25,000, and that's for something like a Mini or a Fiat 500. Now, there's quite a few EV conversion companies popping up in the UK. Uh, some uh, more popular, more uh, uh, experienced than others, um, and they're all on my website. So check out chargehairs.co.uk on the forum, they're all on there. Um, I narrowed it down to a company called Electrogenic. I went to visit them, again, look at my previous videos, check that out. Um, they came up with a build cost for me which wasn't quite comparable power to the TVR, um, and that was working out to be £40,000 with a range of 170 miles, uh, using the prop shaft, using an everything new ch uh, Chinese electric motor, etc, etc. Now, after contemplation, it was a great offer, a great option, but I decided it wasn't powerful enough and I would have to do a load of uh, strengthening to the TVR. Again, if you see in previous videos, I'll probably say that a lot, um, you'll, you'll understand why. So while this was going on, um, I was doing various other videos um, about EV conversion safety, which I did with Ralph Hosier. Pole looking device. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you have a safety pole. So I can grab you and pull you away. Now, you think about it. Um, I also did uh, a video going to see Matrix EV, another EV conversion company, doing some very exciting things in Chelmsford. So basically, we just totally stripped it apart, built it back up from bottom to top. Um, we're doing some extras on this car. So this, we're gonna take a mold of, and we're gonna do a full carbon fiber bonnet. Wow. Carbon fiber, um, wheel arches, I see another green and carbon fibre theme coming on here. Yeah, which yeah, works. I think it works fantastically well. Um, I also took the engine and gearbox out with one of my friends who's very good at that sort of thing. He's an engineer for Jaguar Land Rover in special vehicles. Oh, loose engine oh, mounts. Me. Who's worked on this car? Cowboys. Yeehaw! Right, we've got the uh, engine. Oh, yeah, where's my pink and I've since sold the engine and gearbox, which is you know, getting there as well, uh, in terms of moving forward. She's looking at it in a bit of a sorry state. Old wedgie. Just uh, had a couple of nice chaps pick up the engine for the wedge, now sold, engine and gearbox. There's no back going back now. So, need to start sorting out a place to, well, store it for a little while. Uh, while I decide who's going to be the lucky uh, place that are going to do the uh, electric build and what to do. I need to speak to my uh, friend of mine who works in the uh, DVLA side of things to find out what's possible without having to do a Q plate on her. So that is another thing to do. So I just thought I'd give you a little update because obviously it's not, nothing's actually happened with it for the last, um, ooh, probably about a month now other than the, the progress of selling the engine and box. And my last two episodes was a visit to Zero EV, which is pretty much as good as it gets when it comes to uh, development and um, exciting things coming out of the EV conversion world, basically. So check it out. Charge Heads is also about EV modification. So you'll see some modified EVs and some Tesla modifications coming up on various uh, episodes as well so look out for that. So all these visits to the EV conversion companies and specialists that really helped me make up my mind which route I wanted to go uh, and after all of these uh, journeys and all the research I've done I've narrowed down to wanting to go for a Model 3 Tesla motor um, and again keep watching all the previous videos the reasons why essentially longevity, future-proof, and they're rated up to a million miles. And great news, it's the same power, roughly thereabouts, as the TVR Griffith that I've got. So perfect in terms of power, which is a, it's an important factor. And the power is going straight to the wheels and it solves the strengthening issues I was having previously. So I'm currently in talks with a company uh, to basically get a draft of exactly what I want um, and then I'll just, it will work out what batteries I need, what power it's going to be. It's very exciting and it is coming up in later videos. So you might be thinking, why didn't I spend 50k and just buy a Tesla Model 3 Performance? Now I was thinking the same thing. So I had to go and drive one. So luckily I bumped into one of my good friends, Stefan, and he was very gracious in letting me drive his car. Uh, on an extended test drive and take me through all the tech. It was great, you know, two and a half hours, I enjoyed every minute of going through everything um, and the power, amazing. I mean, I've driven an Audi e-tron RS, it's just as quick as that, if not maybe quicker. Um, and the tech on it's brilliant, the internal, the interior quality is great. Yes, I mean, it's an early test model three, so um, some of the power gaps aren't perfect, but I hear that they might have sold that now with the newer Chinese ones coming through. Um, but yeah, the reason I want to go for an EV conversion on the TVR is it's unique. It's the fear factor. It's the real drive. It's it's electric TVR. Come on, it's going to be awesome. So join me and uh, follow me doing what I do best and what I like doing best, which is making a bit of a prat myself and uh, having fun in cars, basically. Um, I'd love you to comment um, and let me know what you think I should do in terms of wheels, in terms of any kind of kit on the car, any kind of interior, colour, anything like that, because this is the Charge Heads car, 
and I'm just trying to encourage petrol heads and car enthusiasts to get into things like electric uh, vehicle modifications, light EV conversions and modified EVs. So I hope you enjoy and watch the rest of the videos, like and subscribe, let's uh, crack on.